guys so today I've decided to take it outside it's a great weather as you can see here in British Columbia Canada and today I wanted to talk about hosting so I get a lot of questions and I see many other questions in online groups like on Facebook and different specific forums asking what is the best hosting provider that's a great question but the question that's even better is what's the most suitable hosting provider for me how do I choose my hosting? So it's not just about which company is better than the other. Most of the hosting providers have like similar services. And in order for you to select the best one for your website and the best one for your business, you need to know what to look for. So number one, think of hosting like renting an apartment or a house, right? So you're renting a place for your website to live for people, visitors, customers, prospect customers to come and visit your website. So you want the place where your fires live, where your website lives, to be fast enough when people are asking this specific place for the files that they want to see. So every time somebody visits your website, that's a request. They're actually requesting a file. And then your hosting provider or the server where everything lives would give them the file. Usually when I go to www.anybusiness.com, I'm requesting something called the index file or the home page as we call it sometimes, right? So the server says, hey, you want the index file? Here it is, bang, it just comes to me. So I want the server to give me this file as quickly as possible. I don't wanna be waiting 10 seconds or 20 seconds or even more, just like I'll get bored and I'll leave, right? So for the speed, there are many things that you should be looking for, but number one, memory. So you want a hosting plan that has a lot of memory. Most shared uh, hosting providers and most shared hosting plans have 512 megabytes. If you can find a plan that has one gigabyte or two gigabytes, that's even better. Your website will be faster. And uh, most of the shared hosting plans and the providers do not actually disclose this information right away. Uh, you have sometimes before buying a hosting plan, you need to get online and chat with their salespeople and ask them about this. And many of them would tell you, hey, this is a shared hosting and we don't guarantee the memory on it. Okay, just tell them, I'm not looking for you to guarantee the memory on the hosting plan. I'm simply asking how much memory is on that server. How much memory is in this plan anyway? Even if it's shared between me and the other tenants on the same server, that's okay. It's like having a shared swimming pool, right? So you've got like a big uh, condo block and there's one shared swimming pool. If you're asking, you know, the, the owner of the building or, or the company that runs the building, how deep is that swimming pool or how large is that swimming pool? They can say, oh, we don't guarantee the space. Okay, I'm not asking for you to guarantee anything. I'm just asking how large it is. So number one, memory. Look for one gigabyte. If you can have a plan that has two gigabytes, it's even better. Number two, the disk itself. So many of the hosting providers, especially the older ones like GoDaddy, are still using mechanical hard disks. So uh, this is like the big hard disk that you see inside. If you have a big PC, uh, or even your laptop, you have like a hard disk inside the laptop. And most of the old style hard disks, they are mechanical hard disks, which means that all the time when you're using it to store file or read files, the disk itself is spinning because it's mechanical and it's producing a lot of heat and whatever. That That's not our subject. But anyway, these disks by default are way, way slower than the new style SSDs. Right? So the SSD disk is way faster than an old mechanical one. So when you're choosing your hosting plan, you need to be looking for the word SSD. Okay? If the hosting plan is not on SSD, don't buy it. Go look for SSD. Many of the providers now have SSDs and the SSD shared plans are actually not expensive. You'll probably be paying maybe two or three dollars more than a regular plan that is hosted on an old mechanical disk. So number one is memory, number two is SSD, number three, look for customer support. So if they have a chat, 
uh, how fast is it? Try it. Go. I usually go on a chat with the salespeople before buying any hosting plan and, and see uh, how long is the queue, how fast they respond to me. If I ask a question and they can't answer and they have to escalate this to another team, how fast they will create a ticket and then how fast would I get a reply on my ticket? So there are many reputable hosting providers out there in Canada and the United States that has uh, that have uh, rather um, data centers east coast west coast and in the middle of the country so depending on where you live you want to get your plan on a server or in a data center where most of your clients live it doesn't have to be where you live so like if i'm living on the west coast like i am in vancouver that's the pacific like the <laughs> west coast of canada right but if all my customers are coming from New York, Toronto, Ohio, uh, uh, Quebec, then I'd want to be hosted on the East Coast. This will make my website faster for my clients. So these are the things you should look at. Memory, SSD, and a data center or a server where most of your clients live. I hope I was able to give you an idea of how to choose your hosting. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go back to my computer. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So let's go there. Hey guys, so we're here looking at um, the hosting, different hosting companies. So we've got a few of them here. You've got SideGround, WP Engine, Pressable. There's so many. And A2 Hosting. Uh, I've used A2 Hosting and I've used SiteGround. They're both quite good. They have different uh, packages and so on. I've used WP Engine. is one of the best. Like WP Engine is always recommended. The only issue is that this is kind of the Ferrari of <laughs> website hosting. So it's not cheap. Uh, if you look at the pricing, you see that for starters, it's $33. Did I not see 25 at some point here? I don't know. There was a 25 and it disappeared. Anyway, okay, so this is what we're looking at. It's $33. Oh, that's Canadian. All right, all right, I got it. So it was 25 US, which is the equivalent of uh, 33 Canadian dollars. That's just... 10 gigabytes local storage and 50 gigabytes limit bandwidth or transfer. It's only one website. Okay. And then you've got the others are similar. Uh, Pressable will not give you the pricing outright. They would want you to give them your email first. I've done that already. So, okay. And then you see, it's more or less the same like WP Engine is $25 a month. That's US dollars. But also there's a limit of the traffic or the visits. Okay. And the storage is a little bit more than the WP Engine. Right. And it's 20 gigabyte. Again, this is also kind of the Ferraris of website hosting. Uh, Pressable is actually the same company that, WordPress itself, you know, you could also host on WordPress.com. Like WordPress.com is also uh, hosting, not .org, is .com, right? So it's more or less the same company, right? Here. <laughs> I put it wrong, .com. All right. And... Uh, Last but not least is A2 Hosting. It's actually the company that I've been using for the past five years. So I'm using two hosting companies uh, for my sites as well as my client sites. It's A2 Hosting, and I'm using a company called Hostinger, uh, which I didn't open here. I mean, there's so many. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about, basically, is to look at the different uh, website hosting companies and to be comparing an Apple to an Apple. So... As an example, uh, if I'm looking at SiteGround, let's say web hosting, okay, get started. And then the startup for one website only with SiteGround is $699 a month. And then it gives you a 10 gigabyte web space, about 
uh, 10,000 visits monthly, free SSL, and so on. So what's the equivalent of that? One website, 10 gigabyte. Let's go. A2 web hosting. So the starting is one website here, 100 gigabytes. So it's more generous, right? And then you can have one website, but you can have up to five different databases. And here's what I was talking about earlier, guys. You need to look at how much memory is available uh, in your hosting plan. So for the startup hosting here with A2 hosting, you get 700 megabytes or 0.7 gigabytes. And then for the drive, which is the next plan, you get one gigabyte, which is what I highly recommend. I don't recommend for any modern website, especially if you're using Divi, uh, to have less than one gigabyte hosting. You need that. That's actually a big contributor to your speed. If you speed is something important and you want something that's really, really fast, go for the Turbo, which gives you two gigabytes of hosting. So let me just scroll down and see what else. Our, as, as you know, I was saying earlier, many uh, other hosting companies do not tell you how much memory is in there, but A2 does. So that's a great thing. Let me go back to side ground, just like scroll a little bit and see what else is included. Free SSL, free CDN, free email, managed WordPress, and 100% renewable energy. This means that probably their data center, they run on power that is produced from clean sources, like either wind turbines or uh, waterfall operated or waterfalls generated electricity, like what we do here in Canada and British Columbia. We have something called BC Hydro, and the electricity that they produce is just a waterfall. So it's clean electricity. We don't burn anything. And that's a good thing. So I love that. And now you see like 30 days money back, 30 days money back. Then let me go back to A2 hosting. So they do have the free SSL. And if I scroll down a little bit more, security, look at this, hassle-free anytime money back guarantee. Nobody else does that. And I've actually used it. I got a hosting plan in a, in a, a data center that was not the data center that I wanted, but I was just playing around. And then when I realized that it would take me a long time just to do a full migration of my control panel from cPanel to another cPanel, I realized, you know, it's much easier just to cancel my plan, get my money back, do a new plan where I actually wanted in, in the data center and the region that I wanted. So I've done that. No questions asked that return, whatever is unused. So if you paid for 12 months and then you've used them for six months and you have six months that, that haven't been used, they will refund this, no questions asked. And I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is something great that they're doing. And by the way, the customer support is top notch. I love their customer support. They're very knowledgeable. They always do their analysis right and they always give you good suggestions. So this is something because I've dealt with many other hosting and other like technical, not just hosting, but like, you know, tech support from different companies. And, and there are a few who don't like to give you full information and, and send you round and round from one person to another. A2 hosting doesn't do that, right? Um, what else do they have? High speed web hosting. Yep. Uh, they do have their own caching plugin if you need it. So you don't have to buy a premium caching plugin and spend more money. They do have their own plugin. It's not the best, but it works. Uh, my recommendation is to, to find a professional to do your website optimization because it's not just about having a plugin. There's so many things that it's like a science. You over-optimize your website, you'll end up with a fast website that looks broken and the design doesn't look good. You under-optimize your website, it will look great, but it will be loading slowly and that's also something that you don't want. Uh, so there are so many factors that go into website speed and 50% or more of this is having the right hosting. So if you're in the right hosting plan and if you're with a reputable and good company like A2 Hosting here, your website will be fast to start with and you can optimize it a little bit more 
uh, by using a professional optimization service and get it to top not top boop, boop. <laughs> get it to top notch. Uh, most of my websites are loading in two seconds or under. I even have a few websites that are loading in less than one second, like 700 milliseconds or 500 milliseconds, and that's what you want. Now look here, they've got different locations. So if you're on the east side of North America, you can use the Michigan data center. If you're on the west side of North America, uh, okay, sorry, like I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about your clients. Most of your customers, your clients, people who are visiting your website. Uh, so if most of them come from uh, the east side of North America, use the Michigan data center. West side, use the Arizona. If most of your clients come from Europe, you can host in Amsterdam with them. And if most of your clients come from Asia, you can host with A2 Hosting on the Singapore data center. Now, what else do they have, which is great? HTTP version three. This makes your website even faster. However, when you look here, it's not available in the entry level and in the next one right after the entry level, you would have to go with the Turbo Boost. Uh, let me just scroll down. Oh, let me move this out of the way. I'll just put it here for, for now. Uh, you have it on the Turbo Boost and Turbo Boost Max plans uh, as a default. Uh, I'm not going to get too technical on what's the difference between HTTP, HTTP2, and HTTP3. You can Google that. But all what I wanted to tell you here is that it comes as a standard, which makes your website really fast um, in the Turbo Boost and the Turbo Max. Uh, one more thing that I noticed here that I probably want to scroll down, I didn't talk about, uh, but this came uh, when I was talking earlier, is SSD. There, look, they're using solid state drives on all of their plans. This is something that you want to look for all the time. There's no point in hosting anymore on the old style mechanical hard drives. They are slow by design. They overheat, they get slower, they get clogged, and they get like fragmented. You don't want that. You want SSD. So uh, all the stuff that we talked about earlier, the transfer, like the number of visitors, the number of you know transfers of bits and bytes is unlimited on all their plans. So you're not limited in any way. So here it is. Uh, I'll post the link down there for you to check them out yourself. And um, if you're serious about your business, you should be serious about your hosting. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye. Hang on, don't go away yet. Now that you've completed this video, I'm going to have to ask you to click on the like if you have enjoyed it. Because everybody likes to be liked, you know? You can also subscribe. That way, you're going to get all of the cool YouTube stuff made by this guy right here. And finally, why not let all your friends know how great you thought this video was? You can share it with them or even use it in your blog. Thank you. Thank you very much. We see you soon.